Welcome into this new episode of Pops Arcade. Uh, I had been playing this game for about 30 minutes. I was really enjoying myself, and then my power went out, and the video was unrecoverable. So there's going to be a little bit of replaying on my part, and uh, if there's any further context I can provide based on what I've already seen, I will do that for you. But yeah, Homebody so far has been really cool. The developer was kind enough to share a key with me, and let's get back to our new part one. We're going to go into English. Now with this, you can do controls with uh, clicking to move, or you can do WASD on your keyboard. However, the interact button is also the button used to click around. So when I was trying to use E to interact because I remapped the keyboard, it was also moving where the mouse was. Uh, this game is really controller friendly though. So if you have a console, which this is on there too, highly recommend it. This is one of the few PC games where it actually works a lot better on controller. Just move the left stick, X to sprint, A to interact. Got dust on this controller. It's been a minute since I used it. 26 on red messages. Also, quick side note. If you want to see me play part two of this on YouTube, get this video to 20 likes, and I will do that for you. Emily, you're not giving up already, are you? Yes, I mean, no, I'm on my way there, kinda. Are you panicking? Do you need to pull over? All right, dude, I'm at the side of the road. All right, dude, what, panic or pulled over? Pulled over. I've got 2,600 messages from my friends, and I know it's gonna be bad news. I've been sitting at the side of the road for 20 minutes, just trying to stay calm. I don't think I can handle it. You were hoping I'd give you permission? I would give you, like, permission to turn around, yes. Look, you're not going to a funeral. You're going to a cool old house to hang with your friends and watch a meteor shower. You do this every year, and you always seem to have a good time. First things first, hands on wheel, key and ignition, start driving. Okay. Just got a junk email from Herber Freight. I don't know why they thought I would click on that. I don't even know what that is. That's a total side note. I don't even know why I'm talking about it. I'm a little irritable. I'm going to be honest with you. Because uh, <laughs> there's no reason for the power to go. And the power went away so quick that only my PC and my internet shut off. Everything else stayed on. And they're hooked to two different plugs, so I know it's not tied to my house, but whatever. I was like, yeah, we left the apartment weeks, being in the middle of nowhere and watching a meteor shower doesn't sound so bad, does it? It's not that, it's like, they're sending me pages of instructions on how to get in this weird old house they rented. Like, there's a keypad on the gate, and Gary sent me the code, but I just know I'm going to get locked out somehow. I'm going to run out of gas trying to get back. Cops are going to find me a week from now. Skeletal husk behind the wheel of my car, clutching my phone. You're spinning yourself in circles. You're fine. You're safe. They miss you. I know. Just flipped up about it. I'm already like four hours late. Gonna be another before I get there. I don't think another hour is gonna make things that much worse. Would it hurt to just be honest with him about it? I don't. I guess I don't know how to say. I wasted a bunch of time stalling because I don't want to. I didn't want to come and not make it weird. Things are already weird enough. I haven't spoken to any of them in almost a year. You really think they won't forgive you for that? I think it doesn't matter what I think. I think I'm panicking, Emily. What are you so afraid of? Call back if you see this. We're going to the Kroger down the road, sir. We miss you. The gate combination is the third number down the post. And see you soon. And there's combination. When I played this first time, I put that 420 in, or I was going to, but it's a four digit. It's third one down. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, hey, Cliff. That's so polite. 
There she is, the star of the show. You're finally here. The long drive, huh? Wasn't that bad. I think all in all, it was like three and a half hours? Felt more like six from here. We're getting worried about you. Got to wait about work thing. Took way longer to pick up after the con than I expected. Oh, the graphic design convention? Yeah. Well, now the work week is over and it's time to sit around doing nothing. You're going to love it, Emily. And hey, I take it you got my text message? Yep, all of them. Cool. We were worried you wouldn't be able to get inside. Did Pete have any trouble getting here? Actually, Pete isn't here yet. He's about 33 hours late, yeah? He was supposed to be here last night. Worst of all, the owner of the house didn't want to let us in before everyone named on the rental was here. Yeah, like a server at Olive Garden, not wanting to see us until our whole party had arrived. Took some convincing for him to let us stay. Is that why Mr. Ness gave us an hour of instructions on how to not wreck the place? I think he would have done that either way. He didn't strike me as the kind of guy who gets a lot of company. Not to be mean. Was that too mean? You're fine. Anyway, come on in. Emily, make yourself comfortable. For real, we gotta get some catching up to do. How long has it been since I last saw you? Like, a year? Yeah, don't keep us waiting any longer. Hey, why don't I take your bag for you? Okay. Hey everybody's really happy to have you here. I am too. bumper to see what all I can interact with. Now, one thing I notice the clock says 10.30 but it's 7.06 p.m. Now 7.08, 7.09, etc. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, also, they have like full novels. Like this in a glass dark way, it's 456 pages. Uh, there's a game. If this video gets 20 lakhs and I get to part two, I'll play the game. I already played it before. It's not story important, I don't believe, but uh, it's neat, though. Finder's full of pages, notes, and how to care for the house and its contents. I'll flip through it a bit. It's open to a passage about the cellar and the attic being off limits. It gets weirdly personal about what an invasion of privacy would be to go into these areas without permission. There's something about a fee for emotional damages. Ew. Wait, is there... Okay, so I can't interact with that post-it. Also, look out the window. It's just... So far, it's all innocuous. Cliff. Hi, Cliff. Oh, hey. Who are you again? Hey, Cliff. You look at me like you know who I am. I don't think you do. Cliff's a dick. Cliff, go away. Hi, Cliff. Go away. Alright, there's the palm. Also, this is a hiding spot. No use in that right now, but you never know. Gary. Hi, Gary. Emily, I'm so happy you're here. Oh, they're angled different because I'm on the stairs. Gary, so happy you're here. How you feeling? I'm fine. Fine isn't a feeling, but I'll take it. When a woman says things are fine, it's not trying to be sexist, but you know. Why, it was good. I mean, exposure is worth something, right? Sure. Exposure, right? Say to get out there and see the par parsades? Oh, man, I'm so excited. I'm all shaky. I feel like I drank a ton of coffee, but I had to stop doing that years ago. Now you're pretty into space stuff now, huh? Oh, Emily, I don't know if this is the door you want to open. I spent a lot of time on astronomy and Wikipedia lately. It's, it's a pestilence. You're right, better not. Okay. Sorry, you're probably asking yourself, what the heck is a Parseid? Well, right, Parseid is bits of junk that fall off a much bigger comet. Swift Tuttle. It's this whole cloud of bits that follows around orbit, and those bits get burned up in our atmosphere, hence the streaks of light. In fact, some of those little bits have been a part of the cloud for a thousand years. Neat. Isn't it? 
think about how far yeah Cliff was acting shitty there we go this is the main reason why I'm here Cliff was kind of shitty I said hi to him have you noticed anything like is he mad at me oh man is he acting like he's mad at you yes even more than usual he's actively cold shouldering that's better huh I was Buster Quiz more of a passive aggressive kind of guy. I don't remember him saying anything particularly shitty. Come to think of it though, I don't remember him saying anything about you for a while. Oh. Even when I brought you up. Don't worry, he resents me for moving away. I hate to validate a fear, but yeah. He keeps bringing up how you live in the big city, that you're too good for us. It was all he would talk about for a while. All the time he first started sh clinging to me constantly. Yikes, sorry about that. It is what it is. I really missed him a lot. I hate to think he made things worse. Probably tag me out. I'll bring it up to him. You and I both know he wouldn't react well if I actually talked to him about it. This is going to take some subterfuge, and I can't promise it'll be done by the end of the night. But I'll try to bring it up. Thank you, Gary. Of course, buddy. I want to catch up with everybody else. Heard about the house rules? Yeah, I found a binder case. Seems exhaustive. Okay. Also, you and me are going to be bunking together in, same, in a small bedroom next study. We're going to... We're not going to be up to anything for a while, so you can get settled in. Alright. Oh, actually. Hold on. You gotta check these drawers. A lot of it's just random knickknacks. Piece of paper. It's page 110. The text about something called The Watcher that the writer protects is afraid of. Where's the book that this is missing from? So far, I've seen him here. Oh, Emily. Go ahead and make it. Your room's down the hall. Yeah, sorry, I'm late. Too long to disengage from the con. I don't know why I'm skipping all this. Where, where's my brain at? Okay, this is the morning. Most of just work, I like doing it. Well, makes you happy. It does. Since you're here, have you heard the house rules yet? Yeah. I'm glad somebody else is on top of it. Oh, and by the way, something's wrong in the bathroom. That's not the start of story. Nope. They're all pops against me and backed up. Sometimes they work, but there's this big weird pump on the wall that's supposed to keep things flowing. Right away, Cliff came in and messed with it and yelled at him. Now we're not going to touch it again. Got it. Cool. Do you know a book about a monster called The Watcher? The Watcher? Interesting. I feel like it's around the tip of my tongue. All right. That's from A Glass Darkly by Sharon and Lafanu. It's got a bunch of creepy stories in it. And one of them, the hero, is stalked by some sort of creature who he calls the Watcher. There's also this flipped up bird that shows up. It's pretty great. I'm gonna say hi to everybody. Alright. This is the room. And again, a whole book. <laughs> oh, also in that library thing I was in, uh, there is an entire copy of the book Dracula. Holy lightning strikes thrice. You are baptized in the great gunshot of it. The halo, your skull makes against the night. There is little to do but welcome it. That swelling dark, welcome what moves beneath your flesh. Greet the worms in your lungs. Here they are at home. Look at that distant star, that cold, coy wink and rejoice. A new you is risen. Emerge from your skin then. Discard the husk. You will not recognize the thing you used to be from the dirt and from the skies we have made you whole. From your hands falls a soft summer rain. From your eyes a cleansing fire. Cherish your rewards and look back upon the path you created to paradise. An altar, a chapel, that sacred place where you confess the things you thought you were better than. Oh. Just another hiding spot. Pamphlet. Oh. Okay. A lot of this is just basic 90s, and frankly today, advice on how kids use the internet. Don't open emails or items from strangers. Could have viruses, bad pictures. Just be trying to play a mean trick and you don't risk it. Okay. Oh, yeah. There's like a hole here. So there's a room behind here. Also, um, fun fact and slight spoiler. The first time I played this, uh, I was I walked in this room. That's where I first saw the killer. Actually, that reminds me. So it doesn't get corrupted again. I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording and restart a new one. Okay.
So now the power goes out again, it'll just corrupt oh so slightly for like a minute's worth of time instead of the entire footage. <laughs> I'm so angry. That's never happened before. No. No. There we go. Flyer. Well, trying to lie me from the 80s. The illustrations had that gauzy airbrush look that they did then. It says it has an optional electromechanical failsafe feature that lets it automatically deactivate a loss of power. Accompanying the flyer is a handwritten note. Read the note. Clara, someone will be coming from the electronics company to do the installation. Have them set the passcode as specified in the form will lock up the schematic plus combination in the cellar cage when done. A cellar cage. Do not let them enter the attic. Thank you. To work some out. Do some success with electricity. I'm guessing. They keep talking about this Parker guy. I'm guessing that's the guy that you rent it from. I want to see you leave the house again someday. C. Who is C? So this computer thing, it's like a version of Minesweeper? Oh, I hit the bomb immediately. Okay. I never really figured out the Minesweeper thing. Like. Like. Is there a pattern, or is it just all random? Well, shit. I'm just hitting bombs immediately. All right, I'll come back to that. Also, if anyone's ever played Minesweeper, let me know. Is there a pattern, or is it just random stuff? Oh, I cannot open that door. Your wire leads up to a box with a little spotlight. Oh, Beth, I have not been in this room yet. Well, that was like a damn bomb. No, 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 what am I doing? The output pressure and response should be set to 12 PSI at all times. Do not touch. What? Well, I, I... Power's out. It's 10 p.m. Classy. Oh, I wish it was the first person. To... Oh, that is just a window. Okay. How do I go downstairs again? Wait. That wire comes from downstairs. Okay. Let's see, I never figured out the wire thing. See, now the power's out. It's because the lock to the cellar disengages when the power goes out. Now, I was down here. When, ironically enough, my own power went out. Okay, so. See, it's saved. I don't know if that's like the score or if an actual alarm's going off. Sheeting. Oh, God. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh, I thought those were steps. Okay, so the cellar cage, that's where... How do I go up and down on this list? This all just saved. What is happening? See, I'm not liking this at all. Wait, memory log. 110. Oh, wait, why are 110 and 12 paired together? Locker. Wait, I remember that thing was growling before. He's down here. 
with this camera it's my best shot just when I see him I go in the opposite direction I should be good or I can ignore See, I feel like the bathroom thing might be practice for the real thing. I'm not ready to solve this yet. Good. Okay. I like that. Okay. There's a tunnel near the floor. Long looking to the dark it seems to stretch to infinity. Just looking at it makes me want to hyperventilate. I don't much want to know what's on the other side, but metal bars stop me from finding out. And also, a slight spoiler, something I was made aware of before the power outage, um, my power outage, not this one. Uh, when you die, you wake up the next day, and like, you know what happened, but no one else does. Which I thought was pretty cool. Okay. See, I feel like this is, like, lore stuff. Right now, I'm mostly focusing on clues and things because that th that dude's in the house and uh, if you're not aware of who or what I'm no oh! see now before he just chased us because I found him but this time he found them okay oh my god oh my god oh my god it's Megan she's dead there's a lot of blood this can't be happening I don't know why I'm singing Cliff Cliff was rude I mean I mean, n nothing to die over or to murder over, but still, you know. Okay. A strange power box. See, I tried reading this earlier, but I couldn't follow it because it was very early in the morning. Yellow and black striped cable come out of the bottom box from the floor. See, there's, oh, so there's a teal and yellow cables. Also leads upstairs. So I'm guessing that I don't remember a yellow stripe cable. Oh, he might be down here. Oh, okay, it leads down here. Oh, okay. A little sea urchin, maybe one of those old nautical mines or something. Wait, oh, there he is. All right, so I'm gonna have to. Oh, god, I wish I could. Now, hopefully, he doesn't get too smart and come the other way, otherwise, I am dead. Oh, he's slow as Christmas. Is that still a term? Slow as Christmas. See, the door broke. Oh! See, that didn't happen last time. So every time I go in there, it damages, meaning like you have limited uses of hiding spots? Now, I've heard of hiding spots becoming inaccessible, but this is kind of evil, I'll admit. I'm trying to remember if there's a spot in this house I have not explored yet. Not remember, but find out. Okay. Oh shit! I didn't realize he was. Oh wait. Oh. I thought he was somewhere else. Man's really attached to that attic. I'll say that. I'm in basement. God, I can't even think.
I bet it has something to do with that Minesweeper game. Oh, there's no hiding spot here. Oh, God. There we go. Oh. That door's open now. Okay, I'm not hearing him. I'm not hyperventilating. Okay. Like, it's... It's like a little... It's like an onion. Just layers of terror and mystery. Check. Oh, so I bet when I solve this and hit that play button, I can go downstairs and hit the locker. Look in the elevator. He's got an elevator. Mr. Fancy Pants. Schedule. A day with Parker. 4 a.m. rise. 4.05 cold shower. Copy paper ideation. Rise again. Re-energize. I bet y'all I'm having to hurry up. Let me dreaming. Parker, I'm tempered my doubt. I've tempered my doubts about the accumulator at this point, but a lightning rod, really? Movie serial. Oh, that's like sort of like a TV series, but it was in movie theaters before TV got really popular. That's what a movie serial is. So we just as a modern Prometheus. That was the tagline to Frankenstein or the subtitle, whatever you want to call it. The modern Prometheus. Examine power. Oh, I haven't even looked at this. Uninterruptible power supply. I guess it means it's important. And that is a pink cable, is that it? Or like a light purple? Is this openable now? It is not openable. I don't think that's even a term. But let's look at through his clothes. Oh! See, it's starting to break. I wonder if, like, the damage reset. And also, how hard are you shutting that door that you're breaking it? Bro, I'm gonna need you to leave. So if you've come along this far, I think you saw something you like. Go for it, like some crap. What the fuck? How? How did he see me? I. Is there a way to control the breathing? Because usually, if there's like things like that, uh, there's prompts for it. If that makes sense. Yeah, so you see now everyone is alive yet again, which me and uh, basically from their perspective, it'll be like it's still day one, but from your like, you know, things and now look at the log, all these clues I got, they're still there, even though we're back to day one. It's really weird how that works. And it's even 7 p.m. like it was when I walked in at the beginning of the game. But yeah, I want to go ahead and call it good on part one. And don't forget to get this video to 20 likes and I will do a part two. And uh, honestly, there's a chance we'll do a part two anyway, just because I'm really enjoying this game so far. But yeah, I want to thank you all so much for watching and y'all have a good one.